33. O servant of God, we have noted that thou didst write to Jenob ibn Abhar, and thy question regarding the verse, Whoso layeth claim to a revelation direct from God, ere the expiration of a full thousand years, such a man is assuredly a lying impostor. The meaning of this is that any individual who before the expiry of a full thousand years, years known and clearly established by common usage and requiring no interpretation, should lay claim to a revelation direct from God, even though he should reveal certain signs, that man is assuredly false and an impostor. This is not a reference to the universal manifestation, for it is clearly set forth in the holy writings that centuries, nay, thousands of years must pass on to completion before a manifestation like unto this manifestation shall appear again. It is possible, however, that after the completion of a full thousand years, certain holy beings will be empowered to deliver a revelation. This, however, will not be through a universal manifestation. Wherefore, every day of the cycle of the blessed beauty is in reality equal to one year, and every year of it is equal to a thousand years. Consider, for example, the sun. Its transit from one zodiacal sign to the next occurreth within a short period of time. Yet only after a long period doth it attain the plenitude of its resplendency, its heat and glory, in the sign of Leo. It must first complete one full revolution through the other constellations before it will enter the sign of Leo again to blaze out in its full splendour. In its other stations, it revealeth not the fullness of its heat and light. The substance is that prior to the completion of a thousand years, no individual may presume to breathe a word. All must consider themselves to be of the order of subjects, submissive and obedient to the commandments of God and the laws of the house of justice. Should any deviate by so much as a needle's point from the decrees of the universal house of justice or falter in his compliance therewith, then is he of the outcast and rejected. As to the cycle of the blessed beauty, the times of the greatest name. This is not limited to a thousand or two thousand years. When it is said that the period of a thousand years beginneth with the manifestation of the blessed beauty, and every day thereof is a thousand years, the intent is a reference to the cycle of the blessed beauty, which in this context will extend over many ages into the unborn reaches of time.